What's up boys, Callsign Grimy here. Welcome to another DCS video. Patch 2.9 is out. Very, very exciting. Today we're gonna to take a look at the DLSS support for NVIDIA graphics cards that is now rolled out. It is a work in progress. And before we go any further into this video, for context, if you need to see what my PC gaming build is that I fly DCS with, it is down in the description. And I am also flying on the multi-threaded version of DCS to take advantage of the multi-cores with my AMD uh, processor. Uh, so with that being said, let's take a look here. You can see, and you can pause this if you want to copy the settings, but this is my normal settings for DCS uh, when I'm flying within it. I, I want to have performance and frame rates, so that's how I've uh, set it up, and this works for me. Now, when it comes to DLSS, there's a new option here called upscaling. This is where you're going to enable it. Hit the drop down menu, go to DLSS, or if you have an AMD card, you can enable the FSR. Uh, we'll click DLSS. Then once you do that, another drop down or option pops up below it, it says DLSS performance quality. So here you can pick one of these four, four options, quality, balance, performance, ultra performance. Um, what I'm going to do here is enable quality. Let's see if we can improve the visual quality, if it's noticeable at all, uh, and uh, and still have our performance with our frame rates. Typically, on most servers, even busy ones, uh, I'm getting in that 130 to 150 range for frame rates in fixed wing aircraft. If I'm on the ground with uh, an Apache, um, where you're lower to the ground, there's a lot more assets that's rendering in and all that stuff. It's usually around 100, 110. Uh, a new option they've also added here is sharpening. And this is just gonna sharpen things up. Zero is default. One is uh, uh, the max. One thing I suggest is go easy on this. Uh, a little goes a long way. Uh, we'll start at 0.5 or, or 0 0.50 and kind of go from there and see what it does with the sharpness. In particular, I'm really curious to see how this impacts in the cockpit with looking at the screens and the buttons, if that improves the, uh, if it improves that. So we'll find out here in a second. Uh, the rest of everything here, I'm gonna leave it alone. Another thing they added here is SSS. This is a new option as well. And with the uh, SSS, it is screen space shadows. This is gonna, uh, this adds improved shadow details to grass bushes and tree shadows. Uh, it's more, evident when uh, moving grass and tree shadows at long view distances. It's a work in progress. We're going to leave it on. We'll test that out. Uh, everything else here, pretty standard here. Of course, the big thing here, uh, don't be a psychomaniac. Turn off motion blur. <laughs> uh, that's kind of crazy to have that thing on. Uh, also, color grading is new here. This Think of this as like reshade, but built in. You can enable any one of these filters. Uh, we're not going to do it in this video but to give you a good amount in here uh, to test out. Now I'm curious on whether or not they're going to keep adding to this or ideally it would be cool if they allowed users, you, if you can upload uh, your own color grading. So, so, you know, the community can develop some stuff and then we could share it in the user file section and then upload them into the built-in color grading. That'd be really cool. Uh, but there's some stuff in here to test out. And I think this was really made for, um, the, the uh, DCS cinematographers that create those really stunning uh, videos, the cinematics that are, are probably going to, my guess, are going to utilize that the most. Uh, everything else here on the right side, pretty standard. Another new thing they added to the settings here is LOD switch factor. Now, LOD is for level of detail, and this slider is going to allow you to adjust the distance at which these units transition to lower level of detail models. One is standard. I'm not going to tinker around with that. I don't fully understand how that can work, and I don't want to screw it too much, so I'm going to leave it at one. Uh, and then everything else here, pretty going to leave it as is. That's how I normally fly it at. So we're going to hit OK, and we're going to jump into a server. All right, starting off, we are inside the Apache in a multiplayer server. The server is pretty filled up. There's over 35 people in here. And we're going to start on the ground here because I think maybe this might be the better way to test the uh, the differences here. So let's just go ahead and remove our eye heads here. We'll take a look at the uh, up front. And I'll pull up a side-by-side -side here of the same uh, vantage point comparing it to uh, having DLSS off and seeing 
if there's any noticeable differences as we look at the, the front uh, displays here. The other cool thing that's been added with 2.9 is the grass is moving. Uh, you can see that here with your helo. So this is going to add an, another level of immersion with your helo pilots out there. And as soon as we pull up in the collective to get off the ground, you're going to start seeing the dust effect. All right, and that's going to be really cool as well. So let's go ahead and fly around quickly here. Uh, as far as frame rate, this is pretty standard for me in the helos because you're loaded to the ground. There's a lot more stuff it's rendering in because you're loaded to the ground. Um, I usually get in that 110 range for frames. Right now it's 132. I, I suspect that'll drop a little bit once we start pushing out of here. So let's go ahead and give some collective here and keep an eye out for the, the dusting artifact uh, effect. There it is right there. You see how it's starting to blow it out there? That's really, really cool. Let's go ahead and get all the way off the ground here. Look at that. And the more collective you get, it builds up more and more. So it, it, it does... Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm focusing on, on the dusting effect versus trying to get off the air. Look at that. It seems to be that it's uh, there's a radius around the aircraft that this effect will uh, take place. I mean, just look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Super cool. Super cool. Looks good. I, I, again, I can't tell anything immediately as far as the difference with DLSS on, even though I've, I've put it on... Uh, quality setting here um, it's gonna be difficult to tell uh, I mean things look good to me in general I've never really had an issue with visuals um, with the settings that I run oh, we're really riding low and fast here to kind of do our best to test this out as much as possible see if we lose any kind of frame rate notice anything uh negative here but so far so good uh you know looking over I, th I think the lighting seems to be a bit different it's really kind of popping off the reflections on the lighting maybe that is the more noticeable thing here with the lss but uh everything looks again to me to be about on par with what uh i've come to expect and, and experience without dlss so far so this could be a thing that depending on you know what you're running and your settings that it could vary uh by user all right we're inside the f18 let's go ahead and take a look at the uh panels up front here and uh, we'll compare it to uh what i recorded with the 18 without dlss and see if we can notice anything specific specifically with the sharpening effect which we set about halfway through at 0.5 or 0.50 and, uh, you know, to me, definitely things are, are popping out and look very clear on the display. Everything's very crisp. So, again, take a look at the comparison and let me know down below if you notice any differences between the two. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video, boys. Let me know what you think down below if you notice any differences. I, again, have said I haven't really noticed much visually performance-wise. I'm getting the same kind of performance. And uh, so... Uh, the DLSS, uh, you know, again, they said it's a work in progress, but um, hopefully it benefits more people. And I think uh, it's going to depend a lot on your, your your rig, what you're running, how you're running it, settings, and so on and so forth. So with that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, call sign, grab me out.